Well, staying on with stories from the United States of America, former U.S. President Donald Trump is making his presence felt in the Republican Party after a string of victories in the party primaries. A longtime leader of the Republican Party's National Committee has confirmed that she is leaving her post. Well, reports suggest that people close to the former president are looking to take control of the organization. We're talking about Ronna McDaniel, who was elected as the chair in 2017 after running Trump's successful 2016 campaign in Michigan will step down on March 8th, that is three days after Super Tuesday. That is when more than a dozen of U.S. states will hold primary elections. McDaniel, whose resignation was expected, said that it has been an honor and privilege of a life to serve in the role. She added, and I'm quoting her here, the RNC had historically undergone change once we have a nominee and that it was always her intention to honor that tradition. I remain committed to winning back the White House and electing Republicans up and down the ballot in November. McDaniel's resignation underscores how Trump has tightened his grip on the Republican Party in recent months. The former president is on the path to secure the Republican Party's nomination for the White House. And that is after cruising to victory in the first four early voting states, which are Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada and South Carolina. McDaniel was handpicked by Trump to lead the RNC in 2017. Trump recently said that he wants to install a new handpicked leader for the National Party ahead of the election this year. Trump says he favors Michelle Watley, who is the chairman of the North Carolina Republican Party, and his daughter-in-law, Lara Trump, for co-chair. Trump's endorsement all but guarantees their rise, though technically the committee's 168 members must decide on the next party chairperson.